Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, welcome to Romeo Kid TV. If you're watching this video, and welcome to King Tony 2290. Yes, I'm owned by I, I own both channels. Um, sorry, you deserve what I'm about to say. King Tony 2290 was taken off a year ago due to YouTube thinking it was one of my videos was copyrighted. It took me a year to fight that thing back, and now, and since a, a week ago, I have it back in my hands. I uploaded three videos, three videos. This is my third one that I'm uploading. This is my third one, and this will be my last one that I'm going to do. And this is and and hopefully the girls who did this video see this video. If you see the title, if you haven't seen the video, it will be the um, the link will be down below. They responded about the video. Hold on, hold on, let me get better. They responded to the video that surfaced about maybe a week ago. Um, they being racist and everything towards Mexicans. And I'll really be honest with you guys. I really thought for like a few minutes, I really thought it was just, you know, try to put the heat down and everything. But when I heard this, when I heard what, um, the one, um, the one in the middle, the girl in the middle, said, we, and I quote, we are not expecting forgiveness when, and, and they said, we don't ex expect forgiveness from us, from, from everybody who did respond, is commented, and everything. Once I heard that, like they, they said, like, you know, we have a lot of people who made racist videos and they said, please forgive me and everything like that. I kind of feel like kind of they're lying for a bit, like they're afraid for their lives. And I know this, the, the three girls are afraid, but I know the one that is in the back, let's all not, you know, go. Let's not say nothing about her because she didn't do nothing. But the two girls that did, um, they they did a video, 11 minutes, and they just apologizing. They don't expect us to say, you know what? After they did the video, you know they they don't ex expect us from us to say that right away. But I'll be the first, and I don't care my friends. If you're my friends and you know me and you say. You know what? You know I know I know from people from where I'm, when I'm currently at, I know they will be. You know what? They'll be like, you know, they probably will see me down, and I'll say, you know what? I'm not I'm not being a little. Cause of that. Right now, the video that I did, that video will not be taken off no matter what because I want to see. I don't want them to realize that. I just want them to, to know, and all the people that. If any people in the future, if they start doing stuff like this, we will not tolerate it. And you saw after that video went viral, the whole community came and to support. And I was part of that thing. I don't care how long this video is said, but I'm going to say this now. I, I, I accept what they're saying. Me forgiving them is going to take a little bit. But I forgive them for what they did, but not what they said. We are, they said that they were drunk or sober. I don't know if they were drunk, sober, or, or high. And this video went viral. And, and they said it was a year ago that they did this. And I really do, I will say this, I do apologize, I do apologize for what I said, but I'm not taking the video down. Even though, you know, people said, ah, you know, they need forgiveness. Like, I will forgive them, but it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time because of what they said. But um, it's not like I was mad, mad for there's two reasons. One, people like that will be everywhere in this world. Some of them will, will not be recorded. Some of them will not be being able to upload on YouTube because maybe they will be shot before the video will be able to be viral. And number two is because we see this thing almost every single day. Either it's against illegals, Mexicans, Salvadorians, blacks, 
why sometimes I see some people being racist to white, to any race, to any country. And I see this all the time. And the problem about this is, is that, is that I feel like we all got all pissed off because we, we heard, we, we already know what's going on in the, in the politics. We all know what the, the presidential candidate says. We're not going to, we'll veto um, the, the dream act. We will kick out all illegals and all of that we hear and then all of that was stirring until this video just came and just exploded everything and we, and we just said, you know what, we're going to take this, I don't care who it is, and unfortunately, and they actually blow, blow up the bomb, it was them that made everything come out of what we got we to gotta say and what we feel. And, and trust me, we're going to see this all the time. We're going to see this all the time. But just remember this, just because this kind of people did this, it doesn't mean that, that every single one of the, every single nationality is the same. I know, and I'll be honest, I know there's some Mexicans that, that discriminate even to blacks, even to whites. And, and, you know, I know them, but you know what, but when they do that and I'm around, I be honest with you guys. I just leave because a, I don't, I don't, you know, it's 2012, and I don't like that. And I say, and the, and I know they get mad because a kid. I leave, and you know, and everything. And I say, you know what? It's 2012. Come on. I, I'm friends with whites. I'm friends with blacks. I'm friends with even um, Middle Easterns. Um, everything. And we all gotta. We all got to realize this. The media and everything that surrounds the news and everything makes us think a different way. Makes us think a different way because of this. When it was 9-11, what happened? We all know the Twin Towers went down. And everybody, and everybody was posting. Everybody was pointing Middle Easterns, Iraqis. Um, Afghanistan, you name it, everything over there. And what happened during months like that? People were discriminating. People were hating. People that, that didn't deserve it. But we had that hate because the media make us think like that. And and I saw this in the bus. When I, when I saw, you know, a, you know, a mom, you know, one of the Middle Eastern's mom carrying a child, and I saw people just, you know, getting on the back of the bus because they were there, because they were afraid, there was, I just sat there, I just, you know, they were like, next to me, like, I'm right here, like, right there would be the next seat in the bus, I didn't move, why, because I know they won't do stuff like that, even, even to this day, you know, people, people think like this, because of what happened, but we don't, but we don't think and realize, say, you know what? Why should we be discriminated against this kind if, if if it's actually this other kind who's doing it? We should we should fight against we should um imbeciles. We should fight with people that don't know how to think when they talk. That's who the people we need to we need to get up and fight. Not with people let's say Oh, because of this girl, you know, let's say this girl is white. We all going to hate white people. No, no, no. We got to go and say, you know what? We got to go in against people that thinks diff that doesn't, that thinks this way. That is, they, eh, that thinks this way and want us to think that way, but they don't want us to accept what is actually going on. And let's all be honest. And let's, let's all be honest. No matter what happens, either now or in the future, they're always going to be racist. They're all going to be imbeciles talking like this. And people will, will always who talks like that will ask for forgiveness. But what this 
the three girls said, and I'm I'm gonna exclude the the other girl. My bad. The other girl, the the one in the back, because she was not part of it. I'm gonna say the two girls. What they said, and I accept their apology after thinking of this. They know they don't gonna get forgiveness right away, and they will accept it. They will accept the humiliation. And you know what? Because they did that, I forgive them. And we all should do. We all should. The people who we should not forgive are the people who, who talk smack, who really are this, like in pressures and the president. Yeah, what's going on in USA? All the you know the Republicans and everything. Who, people like talks like that. Screw them. Screw them. The media. Screw them. We should all reunite, cause we're not color, we're not race, we're not country. We are human, and that's what we need to always think. Don't think about color, just think about we are humans, no matter what. Just always think about that. I'll hit you guys up soon. Peace.